I unfortunately ended up having a stroke and it was literally catastrophic for my wonderful family right and I was uh, rendered blind mm -hmm. as a function of that um, stroke right. and I became paralyzed and that so happened while he was on the and that and, and, and that's been stroke. not uncommon among people that have contracted COVID True. and been put on ventilators yes. strokes are one of the main things that end up yes. being a complication cross. Right. And so you contracted COVID before you had a chance to get vaccinated. Correct. And that led to the stroke. And Correct. Blindness and paralysis. Yes. And it was horrific for my family and my wife and my children. And we all wish that that didn't happen. But we're so grateful for all the people that have tried to help us help our family and our community. And we're so grateful enormously grateful for the opportunity that science and and doctors and healthcare professionals are there to help people that we love right people that we care about uh, so much to be there and we just want everyone th that has the opportunity to understand this is not uh, a witch hunt kind of deal yeah it's not a, it's not a uh, a fear it is please help your family right please help the ones you love because I love my family right. so very much and I would never want anyone to get sick or or end up having the outcome of the stroke that I had right well ultimately from a personal standpoint, regardless of if you're afraid of vaccines or you're hesitant or you're, you're, you have doubts, the one thing that my wife, my children would all agree, it is so lucky, we are so grateful for the opportunity to be protected from things that are catastrophic we would trade positions in a heartbeat to not have a stroke yeah to not have disabilities to be blind uh, which is one of my disabilities now is I can't see I'm blind I have cortical blindness and and we would be the first to say all of us would raise our hands and say I would be more than happy not to have to be blind. Yes. I would love to not have to be paralyzed. Yeah. And, and thankfully, because of science, because of great people who have said, you know what? What if we can prevent this suffering, this, this okay. absolute horrific situation? If we can do that, let, let's do that. Let's protect our community. Let's protect our friends, our family, our neighbors. Let's do that so that no one else has to go through what I went through. It was horrific. It was literally catastrophic for my family. So we would be the first to say, please just understand, regardless of, of what uh, things that are, are making you uh, be afraid or are making you feel doubtful, understand that we firsthand in my family, my wife, my children, we firsthand went through what happens when uh, COVID uh, comes and attacks. Right. And we dealt with that in a personal basis. And we just want everyone that we love, the friends, the family, everyone that we're uh, aware of, we just want everyone to know we love you so very much. We love our community. Please don't be afraid and please protect yourself and all of your family and friends so that this doesn't end up being a disaster, which unfortunately right now is is being a problem yeah. because around the nation, around the world,
Yeah. People are not being protected, and instead they're they're dealing with just horrific, terrible consequences. And we want everyone to know we will be the first to stand in line to say, if I can help you not get sick, we will stand by you, with you, to let you know it's safe, it's effective, and please just take an opportunity to protect your family.